welcome everybody to the channel. And I thought since it was a slow entertainment or slow entertaining week, I thought I would definitely wait on you all to come on in the room and I'll sing y'all a little ditty while we are waiting on you all to get settled for me to break my entertainment news for today. And it goes a little something like this. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep and think a thing what something might have been. Big wheel keep on turning. Primary keep on burning. And we're rolling, 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 yeah, rolling, rolling on a river, rolling on the river. Left a good job in the city, working for my man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep and thinking of the way things might have been. Big wheel keep on turning, well, the primary keep on burning. And we're rolling, 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 yeah, rolling, rolling on a river, rolling on a river. Okay, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Yes, okay. That's Ike and Tina Turner at its best. And since I said we were having a slow week of entertainment, I thought I would entertain you all with that little diddly. Okay, but let's get on down to the get down, get down. It's not a get straight to the point type of segment, so y'all deal with it. All right, but we're going to be talking about Wendy Williams. Yeah, she went off on an audience member. Okay, someone that came free to her show, and they probably was the first time up there, kind of get it, didn't know what to do. I don't know if they made an announcement prior to the show taping to turn off all cell phones and, and keep quiet and listen to the audience riled up her. You know, that, that, that uh, the hype woman out there. I think her name was Suzanne. And listen to her cues and follow every direction that she gives you. Now, I don't know if they did that. Like, she, they probably normally would have done. But she threw somebody out of her audience because the phone was ringing. Now, I'm like, Wendy, Wendy, it ain't that serious, girl. It ain't that serious, honey. You should have made him a part of your show that day. Okay, had him come up there on stage, give him a little... Um, or her, uh, give them a little uh chair to sit down in there and, and see if they could host your show for about maybe say five minutes, and they'll understand that they should not basically do those kinds of things because you're gonna have people come after them, okay? But the uh author of this article that worked for yahoo.com, uh, Todd Guerin, he uh, was out there. Uh, putting this sensational story out because I ain't never heard in a day of my life since watching Wendy Williams or being um, told about certain people coming on to her platform get starring that day that she had to throw somebody out. I'm like, Wendy, 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 what are you doing, girl? Okay, but anyway, it goes on to say, uh, if you go to a taping of the Wendy Williams show, don't forget to put your phone on silent now, okay? One audience member incurred the wrath of the top talker after their ringer went off during the show's hot topic events or hot topic segment. Now you know that's be um that's the ass whooping right there when you're trying to upset Wendy when she's trying to drop down her hot topics. Okay, we that's a no no in my book because I wouldn't have wanted to hear that either. If you sitting there, it's ringing, and I'm trying to hear the gossip news for that day, and it could have been somebody real famous and worth having my ears down to the floor trying to get every piece of tea she wants to drop to me okay but going back to the article it says when you <coughs> excuse me williams was in the middle of a story about jennifer lopez well hell it could have run <laughs> you know what i'm saying i was like i would have had that a part of my show i was like okay who 
was that phone ringing, put them the put the spotlight on them because I just want to know was it that important that they had to interrupt my tape when I'm finna get ready to blast or give my commentary on Miss Jennifer Lopez and how I felt about whatever she was doing that I needed to talk about. Okay, as a storyline. Why the world this man got his phone on? That would have just been too cute and it would have been a part. We would have signed some con confidential agreements there. He wasn't getting paid, nor do he have time to try to seek litigation on me to get money for that taping. Okay, that's how we would have played that one. But anyway, uh, going back to the offices, Williams was in the middle of a story about Jennifer Lopez when she stopped the show in its tracks after hearing the sound of a ringing cell phone. Oh, no. I think Wendy Williams nurse is bad. Going back to the article, it says if somebody's phone ringing or somebody's phone on, get out. Get out, she ordered. Turn that phone off now, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. She added as the audience audible gas. Okay, I would have been gassing too like Wendy. It ain't that serious, baby. And maybe that person had to have their phone on due to the fact that maybe that was a sick person. Uh, that they was monitoring and didn't want to miss anything or a phone call or somebody's having a baby. You know, there's different reasons why people don't turn off their cell phones. But, you know, of course, it's your show. I guess it's your rules and the tickets are free when you come there. So I guess you can kick somebody out if you had to. But anyway, going back to the story, it says, though the host didn't follow through with forcing the guilty party to leave the building, Williams did make it clear that she wasn't kidding around. The tickets are free, but when you come here, you must turn your phones off, said Williams. Okay, I was being overdramatic, Williams admitted, but kindly, please turn your phone off, she added. Viewers of the awkward moment took to Twitter to express their opinions on how Williams handled the rogue ringer, with someone saying she went over the line calling them out. And I would have been, mm, maybe not, not necessarily, because it's like, um, YouTube had their uh, community guidelines that we have to follow. Certain things we can, cannot do. Some things we can say. Some things we can't say. You know, this, that, and the third. So when somebody, you're coming on somebody's platform, you are supposed to be respectful and um, tune into what they're trying to tell you as far as their rules and regulations. And if you can't comply, my dear sir or ma'am, you really must leave the building. Okay? <laughs> but going back to the article... Um, others applauded Williams for putting the disruptor on blast and for not telling or letting the distraction stop Wendy from being Wendy. Okay. Um, and it pretty much just shows a lot of people, ooh, a lot of people were having comments on the fact that she had, uh, basically got on this person and was it necessary to do all of that? And then just a few Twitters that were captured on Wendy Williams' um, feed line or storyline. Yahoo was trying to break out about her, about the bad, bad man or bad, bad woman uh, and calling them out. Uh, one commenter said, you had it right at Wendy Williams. Tell them to get out if that phone is on. That's not overly dramatic. It's distracting. OK, another commentator. Or a commenter said, uh, go out and show them who you are and smear it in their faces. Okay, now that was a little bit too much. Nah, we ain't got to put no hands on nobody. We ain't got to do all of that rough side talking because guess what, Nick? Um, Wendy, you're going to need those people when it comes to keeping your show or starting a new, new show if, in fact, the William Williams show has run its last course and you're basically saying farewell, goodbye to the show, which I'm pretty sure that would be very, very emotional. And you will do well. You will land back on your feet doing something else. I don't know. Maybe you have a spinoff on another talk show, but it'll go deeper than what you already go. I don't know how that could actually be any deeper because you pretty much go real deep in people's lives. Uh, anyway, okay. So uh, unless you go on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, New York, or New Jersey, okay, that would be very interesting. But it would have to be, I'm sure, for uh, celebrities that are like has-beens or something to that effect or retired from the real mainstream scene, you know, some type of like that. Because you can't go over there uh, with just everyday folk, you know, trying to come up as a reality star because you pretty much 
a star in your own right. I'm sure you got your hall or walk hall of fame little star on that avenue down there in California. And you have you got so many accolades. Everybody know who Wendy Williams is. Your household name, baby. A household name. So, and I'm still trying to check out and do more investigative reporting on this mess with you and Nene Lee. So, y'all real friends or she just succumbed to wanting to hang around you to maybe clout chase or maybe step up her game and she needs to do some strange things or some small things for some small favors or some small things for some big change, okay? You know what I'm saying? Not for get down. They had to do some little things. Uh, to get that big cha-chain moment, all right? But that's all I have for this cute little story of Wendy Williams goes off on an audience member at the phone starts to ring. She like, get out, get out, get out. Kind of make me remember that movie I saw a good while ago called Get Out, the movie. <laughs> and that man running towards uh, somebody, uh, we're running towards the main character in the storyline, and then going to uh, go another way. <laughs> I can just see Tyler Perry being Medea running to um, that person. Well, it wasn't him. It was playing Uncle Joe and doing that. that. That was cute. That was cute as hell. But all right, guys, I'll be back with another salacious story. Um, giving you my antics, of course. And I hope y'all got through the little Tina Turner little thing I was doing because I thought it was cute. I felt like singing. And that's how I get down on my show. All right. You never know what you're going to get when you tune in to Dabs Knows for this world. So I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.